Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Lessons with Lydia. If you are new here, um, you may not have seen my series, but I have been doing for quite a while now videos with styling tips that I've kind of accumulated over the years that I've been very obsessed with fashion and styling and I kind of condense them into videos. So today's video may be somewhat controversial. I don't know about controversial, it's probably not the right word, but um, it's the biggest mistakes that you make when you are dressing. And by you, I don't necessarily mean you. Um, we all do it, I've done it, and I think it's often the best way to learn through our mistakes. It's such a common phrase, but learning through things that we've done in the past that we look back on and think, actually, that wasn't the right thing to do. So I have a list of 10 fashion mistakes that I think people make and get wrong. And I say this with a bit of a pinch of salt because fashion is something that is subjective, you can play around with it, I say it with a pinch of salt. So these are just kind of my opinions. So mistake number one, I think people match their styles too much. And I'm going to explain this a bit more because I know it's a bit airy-fairy. So by matching your styles, I mean wearing something quite dressed up, let's say a mini skirt, and then feeling like they've got to wear that with something equally dressed up. So if you're wearing a midi skirt, people might go for something that's quite fancy top, and then they might want to pair that with a really tall pair of heels. They feel like a mini skirt is, did I just say midi skirt? A mini skirt is something that's quite dressy and they feel like they have to match that throughout the tone of outfit. But I think, and I do talk about this a lot, but I think it's really good to juxtapose your styles. So I personally would prefer to wear a mini skirt like that, really dressed down with a pair of trainers, a trench coat over the top maybe, um, maybe a pair of flat chunky boots, and really juxtapose those styles. And I think that's something people make the mistake of going down a very neat, tight route of, of the same style and look head to toe. So that is my mistake number one, I think. Number two is overcompensating for something simple. Again, my title descriptions are a little bit um, up in the air, but when I say this, you'll kind of understand what I mean. So what I mean by this is, if you have a pair of, say, simple black trousers on, people feel like they need to overcompensate that by pairing it with maybe a really frilly, ruffled, bright coloured blouse. But actually, you don't need to do that and sometimes the nicest looks are pairing simple with simple together um, and just keeping it really basic and a nice streamlined outfit rather than going over the top and feeling like you have to overcompensate for that simple pair of trousers that you wear. And I see a lot of people do this, especially in workwear. They'll go for something really jazzy on top, but actually something as simple as a plain round neck jumper just would look so much more chic with those pair of trousers. Number three, and I think people fall into this trap a lot and it can be something that's so simply sold and it's thinking that you can't pair the same colour together, i.e. top and bottoms. And this actually creates more problems for people than it solves because if you've got, say, a pair of grey trousers, um, it would actually look so nice worn with a grey top and it's all about tonal dressing. I think people shy away from tonal dressing because they think, oh, this grey shade isn't the exact grey shade as my top but actually it's the tones together that really look good and pull it all together. So don't feel like you have to pair gray with something that matches but is a completely different color. You can actually wear the same top and bottom, you can wear the same colored skirt and top together. And I think if you find that, it opens up a lot more doors to your wardrobe um, and instantly looks really, really good. And don't be afraid of wearing the same tones. Like I say, they don't have to be exact matching colors. Tip number four, your blazers don't have to be worn in a smart, formal way. And I think this kind of harks back to the first lesson. Was it the first lesson? I need to consult my notes about this. Yeah, my first lesson about um, juxtaposing your styles. I think people often get drawn into wearing blazers in the evenings 
and it again limits your wardrobe so much wear a blazer in the daytime wear a blazer in summer with a pair of sandals and shorts it looks so good pair it with denim and some trainers pair it with your boots worn casually really dress down a blazer just because it's a smart structured piece in your wardrobe doesn't mean it's limited to smart structured events number five is wearing the wrong type of heel and i think this also kind of falls into wearing the wrong type of shoe for the outfit and again if you're wearing something really short don't pair that then with a really tall pair of heels because to me i don't think it looks that classy and i think it just kind of ruins the outfit a short skirt or dress to me it looks so much better with like a lower strappy sandal um like a sandal heel um you don't have to wear a really tall heel just because you've got a short skirt on equally things like block heels really need to be balanced out with something chunkier on the top of block heels and something um, short or something that kind of exposes your legs a bit more I think just doesn't work they look too clunky too heavy and you need something chunkier on top say a, a blazer on the top or something a bit heavier um, to balance out that block heel so find the right heel um, and I think a tip to do this is make sure you're looking in the mirror and um, assessing whether it looks good I think you can instantly just see whether the proportions are balanced out in the mirror and as you've seen I've been showing examples throughout this video um, of kind of what I think works and what doesn't work number six and I've spoken about this a lot um, but it's finding the right color for your skin tone and there are loads of kind of platforms available online to assess your color um, you can kind of put in your skin tone your eye color your hair color etc etc and it'll come out with what colors suit you and then you'll be able to assess that yourself by kind of holding things up to your face and you can instantly I know I can see when something washes me out compared to when something brings me alive and that difference in the way I feel wearing it is crucial I just think there's nothing worse than stepping out wearing the wrong color thing because I think even though you may not have pinpointed that that's what's wrong with your outfit you'll know in yourself that you don't feel comfortable wearing that and that can often be why it's because the color just does not suit you so in the example um there's one picture of me and I just don't like the colors or tones that I'm wearing I don't suit kind of orangey browns I don't suit kind of dark tans that much and the picture that I'll show I just don't think anything about this works I don't think my lip color is right for my skin tone um, it was winter so I was quite pale and I just don't think these colors go and then juxtaposing that with something I suit so I suit things like greys blue grazy blues um and gr like a kind of gray bluey green um that i'll show in my american vintage hoodie i think this color really suits me um, and like i say you can instantly see in the mirror it's something in your eyes that lights up your skin tone looks fresher um, and it just works so much better and kind of assess all of those things go into a shop when we can hold things up to your neck and see what suits you or alternatively just go into your wardrobe go into your partner's wardrobe your friend's wardrobe um, and hold different colors up and see what works for you a follow-on from that number seven is a lot of people wear too much black everyone is dressed in black these days i feel like there's not much variation black is actually a really hard color to pull off and um, i think i suit black more when i've got a bit more of a tan and a bit more warmth in my face but it is a really difficult color to pull off just kind of branch out into something different go the opposite and try something lighter on for a change so many of us get stuck in a rut i'm guilty of it of just going for black because it's the easiest option and you think it goes with everything but go back to these rules and find that colors kind of wear your colors all together like i said wear head to, to toe gray and it will open up your wardrobe a bit more and you'll find that you don't need to gravitate towards those blacks just because they all match and go together number eight is a pet hate of mine and that is when clothes are too tight um and it just doesn't look good i personally prefer things slightly more oversized and i know not everybody likes a more oversized look so 
don't go for that if that's not you but things that are too tight just aren't flattering things that are kind of short and tight at the same time it doesn't work it's uncomfortable and it doesn't look good so why would you want to wear that number nine is overdoing things now I'm a big fan of accessories and really punctuating your look with finer details. Really big fan of that. I always wear jewellery, makeup, etc. Um, however, overdoing things I think is where people perhaps fall down a little bit um, and there's jewellery, there's makeup, there's sunglasses, there's a red lip, there's bracelets, necklaces, there's a ruffled blouse, there's belts and people perhaps want to make that effort but I think it harks back to that classic rule from Coco Chanel is always take one piece off and no not everybody agrees with that and not everybody will do that and some people really rock that over the top look like Iris Apfel with her over the top jewels but um, I think as a general rule of thumb just kind of look in the mirror and think am I overdoing it here is there too much going on number 10 I think is actually another favorite of my and that is please feel comfortable in what you are wearing. This is a classic example, but we were just walking around the city the other day. It was still February, freezing cold, and there was a girl walking around. She looked nice, but she had a kind of bralette type of top with a little um, cardigan on and some jeans, and she just looked freezing. And I just think, even if you're wearing the nicest outfit in the world, if you're not comfortable, if you're not warm, um, if your shoes are too tight, it shows and it shows in your confidence. And I think that's for me why I love clothes because it brings out your confidence and your personality. And when things are not comfortable on you, it just completely takes away that entire outfit and the way you look in it. Um, so make sure you're comfortable um, and it will look so much better. Even if you're wearing a pair of really comfortable trainers that you wear every single day, that will look so much better than you hobbling around in a pair of heels. So I think make sure you're comfortable, no matter what, and warm as well. Never be too cold because it just doesn't look good when you're sat there shivering in the corner. Just to mention before we finish the video, this top is from Arquette. It will be linked below. It's such a nice one. I know these striped tops are so in at the moment um, and it's got this kind of collar detail. I'm wearing um, my North School jewellery, my collection with North School and it will be linked below. Don't forget to subscribe, press that subscribe button for more tips, tricks, styling ideas, hauls etc. They will all be here on my channel um, coming up. Always let me know if you've got any ideas or suggestions. As I say this video is a bit tongue in cheek so don't take it so literally. It's a bit of fun and just my personal opinions. So I hope you've enjoyed it and maybe can learn from some of those past mistakes um, and just feel comfortable and confident in what you are wearing. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.